Mr. Speaker, on December 6th, I asked the Minister about funding for Calgary's Green Line LRT, and I was told to go back to school. Well, Mr. Speaker, I did go back to school and found out that in this year's budget, there is still no provincial money for this project, while the city and the federal government are both committing $1.53 billion each. I'm to the Minister, wow. when will the province come on board with its one-third share of the funding? Sure, sure. Or do I need to go back to school again? Mr. Speaker, and our government is very committed to supporting LRT development in both Edmonton and Calgary, Mr. Speaker. Unlike the opposition that would cut billions of dollars out of the capital program uh, of our government and make it unaffordable or uh, unaffordable to support these LRT uh, projects to go ahead with them. Mr. Speaker, I've said all along and we've supported with millions of dollars for planning for that line. Uh, and when that design is finalized and we have clear numbers uh, and we get a formal request from the City of Calgary, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we will give it very careful consideration, Mr. Speaker. It is ready. Uh, the City is ready, uh, Minister. Given that in this year's budget address, the Finance Minister said, I quote, we look forward to working with both the cities of Calgary and Edmonton yes. to further develop their LRT projects, Agreed. unquote. And given that this government is dedicating $2.2 billion worth of carbon tax revenue to fund green infrastructure projects, especially low-emission public transit. Minister, since you won't commit the funding, will you at least confirm that Green Line LRT, uh, line LRT is the kind of project that ideal candidate for this kind of funding? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's really interesting that the opposition doesn't want us to collect anything under the carbon levy, but they want us to commit it to LRT funding. Well, Mr. Speaker, you can't have it both ways, That's Mr. Right. Speaker. This government is very, very committed to not only uh, making responsible responses to, uh, to climate change, but to support our municipalities to build the LRT uh, systems that they have and to support transit and other things that will reduce the carbon footprint of this uh, government and of this province, Mr. Speaker. And the people of Alberta support that, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Minister. Second supplemental. Carbon tax is killing more revenue than it brings. Given that on January 22, 2015, in reply to member of Calgary Hayes, the minister said, and I quote, when I have a full review of opinions and needs of the City of Calgary, we will be moving forward in due course." Unquote. And given that Calgary has been hearing the same minister make the same statement for two years now, and people are anxious for the jobs, that will come with a $4.6 billion project. To the minister, will it take another two years for you to move forward, which by the way is 2019, and by the way is an election year? Mr. Speaker, well, you know, I stand by the previous statements that I've made. I, I'll remind the member that we've announced in December of this past year, 150, near close to $150 million to support the development of the Green Line. Mr. Speaker, he's, he's trying to forget that or make, wants to make sure people forget it. But as I've said, when the project is finalized, when we get a formal request... Mr. Speaker, if, if, I, if I might... Quiet! I'll take care of the modern member. Please Thank proceed. You. He asks a question, but he doesn't want to yes, answer. Yes, honorable the member. Answer, Mr. Speaker. So if I may. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to finish. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When, when the city of Calgary makes a request, we will give it careful consideration. They haven't done that. If the minister or the member expects me to respond to him and give him Thank millions. Thank you, honorable member. 